connections or or not able to make this meeting. So boys and girls, I'm recording the meeting now and this recording I'm doing is to introduce the check my progress quiz. The check my progress quiz is basically going to be going over the things that we've just learned for numbers 1.1 lesson to 1.4 lesson, the homework we just checked. Everything that's in that quiz should be in those homework assignments. In fact, that's a good reason to save your homework assignments because they're kind of act like cheat sheets for you. If you're not sure about something and you want to go back and say, well, how do I do that? You can look at your homework. The other place you can go to check, and I always do this even in class, is when you're not sure about something, you can use your notes. Your notes from 1.1 to 1.4 are a great place to find out answers. You can figure out place value, how to represent decimals, how to represent the model fraction, all those things and more by looking at your notes. I'm going to open up the quiz right now so you can see it. Warning, don't take the quiz until you've listened to all the directions. I want to make sure that you succeed on it and I want to make sure that you don't get stuck on something that I'm explaining. So make sure you follow along with my directions before you start it. After I give you the directions, I'll be giving you time to work on the assignment. Here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the link to show you the quiz. The quiz on this one, sometimes the quizzes will be done electronically, meaning that you'll be typing the answers into a form. On this time, you're going to be doing it on a piece of paper, or if you are able to print them out, I want you to print these pages out. If you can't, no worries. Just do this on a lined piece of paper and number your answers so that we can check them together as a class. The first part is a vocabulary check. I want you to fill in the correct word for each sentence. That means what I'd like you to do is make sure that you fill in, write the whole sentence, and then write the word that goes in the sentence. When we're done with this quiz and we check it, I'm going to ask you to show it to me in Flipgrid so I can see your completed work and I'll be looking for these completed sentences and making sure whether you got them correct or if you didn't get them correct, you fix them. Write the entire sentence. Yes, Jason. Are we allowed to use our homework for the quiz? Yes, you are. You're allowed to use your homework, Jason. In fact, that is your cheat sheet. So I want you to use your homework and your notes to help you with it. That's why okay. you save those homeworks. And uh, yeah, definitely use those. OK, the next thing I want you to do is where it says concept check. And let me zoom in a little more so you can see what we're talking about here. I've highlighted two digits in these numbers. There are two parts to this assignment here or for this quiz part. You're going to name the place of the highlighted digit first. That means I want you to look at this two. And tell me whether it's in the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to tell me the place name of it. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, and so on. After that, there's a second part. You're going to also write the value of the digit. The value of the digit is whether that two there is two, 20, 20,000, 200, 2 million, 20 million, 200 million. What is the value of that digit? Not the place, but the value of it. So there's two parts to each one of those. Be really careful and read all the directions here so you know exactly what to put. Jason, do you still have a question? I forgot to lower my hand. OK. Let me move on down to the next part. On this one, you're going to be writing the number one or 13 million 180,000 in expanded form. Make sure you check your notes and your homework for how you would write that in expanded form. Make sure you label that is is in expanded form so I know. On number eight, be careful. It's not expanded form this time. It's word form. So make sure you write 4,700,000. I'm kind of giving away when I read it out loud, aren't I? So make sure you write that number in word form when you read it out loud. 
Spelling does count, boys and girls, when you write in word form. So make sure that you spell words correctly. We're going to continue on to numbers. On the back page, there are two pages to this, so keep on scrolling. If you get to the end of the first page, go to the second page. We've had issues in the past where some students only go to the first page, and that's a scrolling error, so make sure you keep scrolling. There are two pages here. Take a look at number 9, 10, 11, and 12. You're going to write greater than or less than, greater than, or equal to in each circle to make a true sentence. So you're going to rewrite this on a line piece of paper with the correct expression or correct symbol inside the circle. Jackson, you have a question? Yeah, are we going to um, like check this on Monday, like in a Teams meeting? Yes, Jackson, we're going to check it on Monday in a Teams meeting. OK. Jay Steve, do you have a question? Is it the test or is it 1.5? It's not 1.5, Jace. This is check my progress progress quiz. So this is not 1.5. OK, thank you. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some more things down here that I want you to do. Um, this is important. You're going to be shading the model. And again, you I do want you to make a model for the tenths place right here and the hundredths place right here. If you're able to print this out, you can shade in the thousandths place here. But if you can't print this out, don't make it. Again, that's a lot of drawing and I'm not going to ask you to draw that thousands cube. So if you're able to shade in the thousands cube or if you want to take the challenge and draw it yourself, if you get that one correct, we'll give you a little, we'll give you an extra bonus point for that, but it's not required. Jace T, do you still have your hand up for a reason? Okay. We're going to go ahead and take a look at number. Oh, so remember, don't shade in number 15. You're not required to. Okay, we're going to move on down. Problem solving. I want you to read this problem carefully and make sure you use an answer sentence. So you'll see lines here. I want you to make sure you use an answer sentence here. So I don't want to just see like a number. Well, actually, you don't have to, shouldn't have a number. You should tell me whether it's Friday's baseball game or it's Sunday's baseball game had a greater attendance. So I want to see an answer sentence for that. Brain builders, the little goby fish. Where is he? Oh, the female goby fish. OK, on this one, you just have to follow the directions of what to do. You're going to be reading the words and then here are your directions. Use a decimal to write the length of two females. Be very careful. This is one where they're trying to trick you, boys and girls. I want to give you a pro tip. They give you the length of one goby fish. They want to know the length of two of them. So be very careful when you solve that one. Don't get tricked. Our final one is a test practice. If you have this printed out, you can go ahead and just fill in the circle here. If not, I want you to write an answer sentence for me. The decimal that represents the shaded part of the figure is, and then tell me which one of these decimals represents the shaded figure here. And that's our quiz, boys. I'm going to let you leave the meeting right now to start the quiz. I'm going to keep the meeting open for about three minutes or until we're all done with questions. For right now, I'm going to be giving you, um, let's see how much time on my agenda I had originally set this for so I can see. Uh, let me close this out so I can see on my agenda. Um, I'm going to give you till 10 o'clock to work on this quiz. So go ahead and get started. We'll see Bye. you guys. You don't have to say goodbye. Just go ahead and leave the meeting. Um, if you have questions, just raise your hand. So please don't say goodbye. We'll see you again soon. But just go ahead and leave the meeting. If you have a question, I'll leave this open for about three minutes if you have any additional questions. Derek, I see your hand up. 